Now we are in the scanning interface. We noticed there are a row of icons on the head, saying the working status. When the icons turn red, it means we are in the middle of this phase. Also, there are four pairs on the left bottom. Frames are how many images we captured at present. Point means how many points the sensor got with scans going on. But there is no direct matchup between frames and points. Pending means how many texture scans are waiting to be aligned. Only effective in full color 3D scanner. The essence of 3D scan is to capture many images and merge them together by public feature. If moving scanner too fast, software will remind tracking lost. Tracking lost is due to failed detecting enough public relationship. So please move slowly to keep ongoing alignment. For some exception target, we suggest start scanning from the most characteristic part and gradually transfer to the last characteristic part back to origin, then to the next part. It could keep the alignment more fluent. When tracking lost, we could find the last frame in green area. Get back from this area and carry on. The same procedure with mark align and hybrid align. During the scanning, turntable or clip can help us work more efficiently. Some exception shape needs trigger to work easier. If you lack of experience in this regard, Welcome to contact Thunk 3D for technical exchange or get scan support and guide from Thunk 3D sales. What if we have no experience at all? Don't worry, we could get group registered. Put the target on. Start scanning all the parts within your site. Remember to delete the unnecessary areas. Then create a new group. As we can see, it's named Group 2 as default. Repose the target. Remain some public features with the origin position. Complete the second scan process. If another group is necessary, repose the target and complete the third scan, then the fourth, then fifth, until we get the full and whole surface of the target. When the scan is done, tick to forward. The system will execute feature alignment automatically based on each group's geometry. Please zoom in the model by scrolling middle mouse button. We find the model is consist of many points. The denser the points are, the more detailed the model is. As it displays, the white part indicates the scanned area while the yellow part is unscanned. Do you think it is watertight? Once you find the point cloud model is with some missing area. We could roll back to create new group. Repeat the group register procedure until it is covered. The system will execute feature alignment automatically based on each group's geometry. If it failed, we need to do group register manually. Usually the group 1 is fixed. We could select the group 2 or 3 or 4 to merge it into group 1. The selected group shall have enough public relationship with group 1. Then we could easily find the same part and mark it. Assisting the software to do feature alignment more accurately.
after group 1 and group 2 are merged together. It means group 3 or group 4 could be aligned easier. Until, until all groups are merged, that can we take to finish this step. When it is OK, we're going to mesh it. Here please pay attention to the mouse hotkey. Scroll up and down to zoom in and out. Press and hold scroll wheel to rotate the model. Press and hold right mouse button to drag and pan. There are seven paras on the right. Usually, the system had well configured each para according to the points cloud. Just tick and wait for the output. The waiting time could be several minutes or so. The processing time depend on our GPU performance and the number of points. Now the mode has already been meshed. We could review it carefully. If it's a satisfied result, click the Save icon. We can find the generated data. Thunk 3D software generates OBJ data as default. If you'd like to have STL format, shift to Setting Page. Tick and confirm STL as extended format. Then back to wrap interface and remesh. Now we could get both OBJ and STL data. If the data quality meets our require, the scan is done.